Okay, now that our schematic is done, we can create a PCB. So I'm just going to save this again. And I'm going to add new to project PCB. Cool, so you'll notice this new file called pcb1.pcbdoc. We want to save that. Uh, and let's call it 555 PCB. Cool. Um, so in this PCB file, we have the same kind of controls as always. Um, right click to drag, uh, scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Um, and what we're going to do first of all is look at the view tab. So you have three main views. 2D layout mode is the one you'll spend most of the time in. That's where you'll do your routing, your traces, your, your placement. Um, 3D layout mode shows the PCB in 3D. Again, if you hold shift and you drag the right key around, you can orbit around your PCB. This is what it looks like in 3D. I press zero back to start, V and then B like banana, we'll, we'll flip it. V like Veronica, B like banana, keep flipping around. Z is for zero, sorry, uh, oh, zero, the number zero is for zero degrees. Nine is for 90 degrees, you can rotate. Um, and you can go back to 2D layout mode. And you see these numbers here are really easy ways to switch. So if I just press the number two on my keyboard, I can switch to 2D layout mode. Three goes back to 3D and I switch back and forth. One mode we're gonna use at the start is called board planning mode. And so we can actually pick the size of our, of our PCB. So under design, let's do a redefined board shape. So I'm gonna start down in the bottom corner and we're gonna get kind of this polygon we get to create. So we'll go to the right, oh, sorry. We lost it here, let me control Z. All right, can't control Z, <laughs> that's okay. So what we can do now is just, instead of redefining the board shape, we can just create a new one. Or, or just redefine it, actually, that, that works fine. So we'll start here. Um, if you hit Q, you can notice in the in this top left corner the units change from mm to mil. Mil is actually equivalent to a thou. It's an imperial unit, one thousandth of an inch, and mm is our classic millimeters. So we'll stick with that. So I'll start in this bottom left corner. I already made a bad start since I started not in the center. Um, I can right click to cancel, and then start it again. Redefine board. Go from the start, and then in this top left corner you can see dx and dy. So you can see like the difference um, in position so far from where we started. So I'm going to go nice and big, 100 mm. And that's going to be the absolute maximum size that I'm going to want to make this board as. Um, and the reason for that is that from the manufacturer, uh, 100 mm by 100 mm squared PCB um, is like the maximum size your PCB can be for it to be like a certain price. Um, and that price is five bucks for 10 boards. So it's pretty nice, 10 two layer boards. Um, so it's a really good deal to keep it within 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. You can see we're not exactly at 100 millimeters. Um, we need to change our grid. So looks like it's in view, uh, grids, and then set global snap grid. So it's at this weird 0.127 mm. That's probably because we were in the mills unit before. Um, so let me just do 0.1 mm. Let's go back to the origin and then we're gonna redo that uh, redefined board shape. So we'll start nice in the center. Cool, and then we'll go over 100 mm. So 100 is about kind of here. And dy, you want it to be zero, so it's nice and flat. Cool, click. Now we're gonna go up 100. Nice. So we could stop here if you wanted a triangle. There's some cool triangle PCBs out there but we're gonna stick with a square for now. Click, and then right click to end it. 
who now have 100 mm by 100 mm PCB. You can double check by using Control M, our favorite measuring tool. Click on the bottom here, and then we can go all the way to the top corner. You can see it's 100 mm x distance, 100 mm y distance. Right click. So we're pretty good on size. So this is the maximum size our PCB can be if we want it to be five bucks. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of shipping and stuff, so it gets expensive even at five dollars. But we might figure out that our PCB can be much smaller, but we'll just start with this size for now.